Swami, also known as Gopal Krishna Khanna, son of late Mr. Anand Sarup Khanna, born on 14th August 1944, and a resident of Iskandelhi, Hare Krishna Hill, Santnagar, Iso Kailash, New Delhi, do hereby revoke all my previous wills or codicils and declare that this is my last will, which I hereby make on this 23rd November 2023 at Iskandelhi, Hare Krishna Hill, St. Nagar, Iso Kailash, New Delhi. I am a sannyasi and have no dependents. I declare that I am in good health and possess a sound mind. This will is made by me without any persuasion or coercion and out of my own independent decision alone. I appoint Vaishnav Maharaj for India, Janardha Maharaj for India, Rishikumar for India, Ambaris Maharaj for Russia, Umapati Das for East Africa to be the executors of this will. In the event any of this were to predecease me, then whoever is the survivor among the above will be the executors of this will. I am a trustee of Islam India and DVT and a governing body commissioner. I am not a trustee of any other trust except ISKCON Seva Trust, a Bureau Control Trust, an inactive trust based in Delhi set up by the ISKCON Bureau. Page 2. All of his markings before that. Um, marks. I have always been loyal to the governing body commission of ISKCON and the teachings of Srila Prabhupada, the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, as reflected in his books. I would like all my disciples to follow the GBC body. I have never taken one step out of ISKCON and I desire that they render their services in ISKCON and not run here and there looking for some easy way out. The Guru manifests himself in two ways, through Bapu and through Bani. Bani. Bapu, you may have heard many times, is temporary. Bani is permanent. So all my instructions are drawn and therefore reflected from Srila Prabhupada's books. Srila Prabhupada has said, quote, Your love for me will be shown how much you cooperate among yourselves. Unquote. And my desire from all of my disciples is the same, to cooperate among themselves and with this calm authority forever. If I were to pass away outside India, I would be grateful if my body could be brought to Vrindavan or Mayapur and kept in Samadhi there. If I were to pass away in North India, I would like my Samadhi to be in Vrindavan. If I were to pass away near to Mayapur, I would like my Samadhi to be in Mayapur. There is a plot of land in Vrindavan where my disciples wanted to construct a house for me. I did not encourage that. It is my desire that this particular land should be donated to Islam Vrindavan for any purpose any deem fit. I see a different picture of mine in almost every temple where my disciples serve. They can choose any picture they like, 
This practice can go on after my departure also. I don't really have any assets, cash, bank deposit, lock box, vehicles, stocks, or any property in my name. All the properties in the zones managed by me in ISCON are registered legally in ISCON's name. And there is nothing in my name except a Rolex watch gifted by Sheila Baobab in 1977. My laptop and two mobiles. I desire that this watch be handed over to one of my disciples who helped me serving Sheila Prabhupada. The laptop and mobiles with all the logins and passwords will be in the custody of whoever will be my secretary at the time of leaving my body. My clothes and sweaters can be distributed to disciples and other devotees by the team of my assistants. I have not altered any books except some lecture transcripts brought out by different disciples at different places. There is no copyright owned by me on this. Page 3, all of his thumb marks again, and his signature and the witness. My only true assets are my personal deities. And I do not want this to be worshipped by any one individual. I therefore desire that my solid ground shilas and the deities be kept in the altar and worship at Shishi Radha Parthasarthi Temple is Delhi. Shishi Radha Radhikaraman Temple is called Panjabi Bhag and could be divided among other temples in my zones. I decide so as if the deities are part of the temple altar, then they will be safe and in case they are worshipped by individuals, they could be abandoned. I do keep some little Lakshmi as me described money to be used in Krishna service for various projects and this could be divided among the different projects which will be ongoing at the time of my passing away. I have one joint bank account along with my disciple Jagannath Priyadas in U.S. And this has a balance of $3,000 for the past four years, merely to ensure that I have transactions in an American account to secure my credit card. I have no personal loans, nor do I owe any debts to anyone. I hereby appoint five doctor disciples who are personally serving me now as attorneys to determine concurrently my medical treatment and personal care in case of my not being in a position to decide. The names of these doctors are Dr. Duarte Distas, Dr. Krishna Priya Das, Dr. Acharya Das Washington, Dr. Radha Balava Das and Dr. Ajay Chaitanya Das. If I were to pass away, I would be really pleased and grateful if all the disciples take shelter of one of the senior devotees in this movement without being independent and follow the management system set up and provided by Shila Prabhupada. I direct that all my disciples shall behave and conduct themselves in the following manner upon my demise. Continue page 4. Again, Guru Maharaj's signature. And the deed, related details, 
and so on, the registration fee, copying fee, and so on, all the legalities. Register in Delhi, 23rd of November 2023, 10 o'clock, 18 minutes, 51 seconds, day, Thursday, Hare Krishna. There's one more. Hold on. One more paragraph. Shall I read this also? Yeah. Amen. Hey. 